Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Beverly Genero of the Reformed Temple of Laguna Woods. Well, welcome, Beverly. How are you? Hi, Lisa. It's so good to be with you again. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time. And, you know, you guys always have lots of information and uh, something is happening that's right around the corner on May 16th. Um, May 16th is our book club. Yeah, and so that's, yeah. that's the first thing that's happening. However, you also have your your Friday Shabbat services, and you've got all sorts of different things going on. So you can start with whatever you'd like to start with. <laughs> okay, well, I, I can tell you about our book club. It's on May 16th, and they're going to do a book called Hell and Other Destinations. It's by Madeline Albright. Oh. So that's kind of exciting. It's going to be at our meeting on May 16th at 10 a.m., and uh, it's a memoir, and typical of Madeline Albright, it's blunt, witty, and very relevant. Okay. So all members are invited, and they can call Harriet Schwartz for more information on that. Our service on May 19th is going to be where the Reformed Temple is going to be recognizing something called Yom Yerushalayim, or Jerusalem Day, which is a holiday in Israel, a national holiday, and it's we're going to recognize it with prayers and songs, and it commemorates the reunification of East Jerusalem, uh, which includes the old city, with West Jerusalem, which followed the Six-Day War of 1967. And this is the first time that uh, Jerusalem was under Jewish rule since the expulsion of Jews under the, Romani uh, the Romans in 70 CE. So oh it's a pretty significant thing. And of course, under Israeli occupation, Jerusalem is welcome to everybody of any faith um, around the world. Have you been um, to Jerusalem? I have. Have you? No. Is it amazing? It is. I, I have to tell you, it is. And part of it is because it's such a multicultural, much multi-religion city. You see all kinds of um, interesting things, whether it be experiencing the architecture the food just seeing something that old and that historical yeah. it's it's magical it really is and I hope you get the opportunity to go there one of these days <laughs> <laughs> um our rabbi's lecture series is going to take place again on uh, three consecutive Tuesdays at 12 30 p.m oh in clubhouse five multi-purpose room on May 23rd May 30th and June 6th and the theme for this uh, uh, series is going to be L'chaim, to life, to the end of life, to afterlife. Mm -hmm. And L'chaim, of course, is the word meaning uh, life in, in uh, Hebrew. Space is limited, so secure their you know, reservations by sending a check payable to RTLW. And that goes to Cheryl Beldner, 203 C Avenue, Mallorca. And that's in the amount of eighteen dollars for members and twenty-five members for not uh, twenty-five dollars for non-members. Mm -hmm. So that's something that uh, we're looking forward to. Also, this month we're celebrating the holiday of Shavuot at our service on May twenty-sixth, mm -hmm. and this is the anniversary of the day that God gave the Torah to the entire Israelite nation assembled at Mount Sinai. And one of the fun things about it is we eat dairy at this time to symbolize the land flowing with milk and honey nice. and decorate our sanctuaries with spring foliage. Everyone's welcome to join us for the special celebration. And I know that you'll like this, Lisa. They're going to serve cheesecake and ice cream. <laughs> I love <laughs> that. In keeping with I do too. I do too. <laughs> Any kind of cheesecake, I'm there. Um, and that, then, of course, the purpose of our con uh, Connections Committee is to connect by phone calls with all temple members, to give resource information, answer questions about the temple, and especially check on the well-being of our members. And uh, as you said, everyone's welcome to come to our services each Friday night, 730, Clubhouse One. Uh, current vaccinations are mandatory and masks are encouraged. Um, I do want to mention, because we had talked about our um, uh, Jewish food festival that we had last, earlier, I have to tell you, and of course, being on, on this day helps get the word out, but the response from the community was incredible. 
Oh, it, better than even in the past, which we've always been surprised at. Um, we had a lot more food, but it went. <laughs> and it was um, really gratifying to see the response of the entire community, not just our members or the Jewish community, but all the community came out to enjoy our culture, our music, and our food. And that nice. felt really, really gratifying. Good, and good. I was going to ask you about that. I'm glad you, <laughs> glad you mentioned it. Fantastic. <laughs> And finally, I just want to say that um, to learn more to find anything that I've spoken about today, uh, all information of the events and activities, you can call our hotline or check our website, which can be accessed through the Laguna Woods Village web website under clubs. So we're hoping that you will take part in all of our activities. We'd like to see you there. Thank you so much, Beverly. It's always good to see you. And uh, I'm glad your food festival was a success and we look forward to the next one. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to see you in person next month. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> thanks Thank for, you. Thanks for having us, Lisa. Bye-bye. Right. And if you want more information about anything that we have discussed, of course, you can contact them at their hotline or go to Laguna Woods Village dot com under clubs perform temple of laguna wood we'll be right back